Wait a minute. Neanderthals are extinct. Before you laugh, check yourself. Neanderthal DNA is 99.7% identical to our own. Some researchers suggest that certain humans might be carrying as much as 2% of the Neanderthal genome. Making things extra weirder is that scientists recently recovered a nearly entire DNA sequence from a 50,000-year-old Neanderthal skeleton. So in principle, Neanderthals may make a comeback. But how would they adapt? And how long would they survive? This is Alpha Revolution, and here's what would happen if Neanderthals had not gone extinct. Despite their outward characteristics, including being shorter and having longer skulls, we could have more in common with Neanderthals than we'd like to accept. First of all, their brains were bigger, which doesn't make them smarter than us, but they could communicate with one another. They established in family communities and took care of the sick and the aged. They also constructed sophisticated tools which would have been employed for anything from hunting to even shipbuilding. They even cooked their vegetables and ate them, which is more than you can say. So if Neanderthals are essentially the beta form of what humans became, could they still exist among us? Neanderthals, in fact, did live among us. For roughly 5,000 years, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals coexisted in Europe and likely interbred. This would explain why most Eurasians have probably at least 1% of Neanderthal DNA in their genome. But every one of African origin doesn't have any Neanderthal DNA since their ancestors did not move via Eurasia. But with the Homo sapien population significantly outnumbering the Neanderthal population, it's likely modern humans just absorbed the Neanderthal species. Another argument is that mankind outcompeted them for resources during the previous ice age, resulting in their extinction. But either theory is right. What if the concluding fact was erroneous? What if Neanderthal were not extinct? If Neanderthals miraculously emerged as a separate, but highly similar, species to humans, how would they fare? Despite their communication and handicraft abilities, the laws of natural selection reveal that Homo sapiens are better, which suggests the survival alternatives for Neanderthals aren't fantastic. Bearing the chance of early modern people breeding them out of existence, Neanderthals would undoubtedly become something like second-class citizens. Would we enslave them? keep them in zoos, or force them to fight? It's hard to say. Would the constraints of their intelligence prohibit them from properly assimilating into current society, or would they learn and evolve, just like Homo sapiens? Maybe they'd want nothing to do with us. Realizing how our differences surpass our similarities, could we expect Neanderthals to build their own communities and continue to exist independently of the developing world? It's hard to predict exactly how a species that went extinct roughly 40,000 years ago would behave today. But then again, maybe we just have to look about us. Neanderthals may be extinct, but we did evolve alongside them, and some of us inherited more than others. So think hard before you call someone a Neanderthal, it might be pretty offensive. And for more intriguing themes, stay tuned for more Alpha Revolution.